Hi everyone, Sariana van Us here with another RGN Link tutorial for stencil art. All products used in this video will be listed at the end of the video and are available at www.stencilart.co.za. I decide on the placement of the face for my art journal page and lightly draw in the outlines. As this is my first YouTube video for 2015, I'm writing down all my thoughts, ideas and plans for the new year. I just write down whatever pops into my mind, sometimes duplicating some words and not worrying about grammar or spelling. I'm using background stamps by Paper Artsy and stamping with embossing ink and then embossing it with Tim Holtz Distress Embossing Powder in Black Suit to create some texture. I apply gel medium to the Dahlia mask and randomly stamp on my page. Once dry, this will create a resist effect as soon as I apply the pan pastel colors to the background. Just a note of caution, the Distress Embossing Powder created a very rough surface and ripped the soft sponge so much that it was leaving small pieces of sponge behind. Rather dab than wipe over the embossed areas. I create texture by going over the Dahlia mask with different colors of pen pastel. I seal the layer of pan pastel with matte gel medium as I plan to add more layers on top without wiping away the layer of pan pastel. I use a brayer to spread the gel medium but you can always use a paintbrush, a sponge or a palette knife to add even more texture. Use the sporty girl stencil and draw in the face with a big brush pen. This pens are filled with India ink that is translucent and permanent once dry. It also has some open time so you can blend it if you apply it over a sealed surface, in this case the gel medium. I want to create a soft face almost if it is part of the thoughts on the page. I still want to see the layers underneath through the face that is why I decided not to use an opaque medium like acrylic paint. I keep on building up the layers of the face that is why I love stencils. You can always use it to draw, blend and change the features in each layer. The ink colors were starting to blend so I had to dry it first. It is just so easy to use the stencil to add the lines to the image and then softening it with my fingers. I apply Dina Waitley Heavy Body Acrylic Paint in Night with a sea sponge to draw attention to the face.
To pull everything together, I used a brayer to apply a thin layer of white gesso. This will also soften the whole page. The trick is to really apply it in very thin layers as not to cover the whole image. I'm using clear acrylic alphabet stamps to create the title of my page. It is so easy when you are satisfied with the placement of your words, just place your acrylic block over it. I use a brayer to apply acrylic paint to the letters and stamp it before it dries. And if it is not stamped perfectly, you can easily stamp again. I'm outlining the words with my big brush pen and then adding highlights in white. As you can see, I had more success getting a perfect stamped image without mounting the steps. Add shadows with a warm grey big brush pen and highlights with a cold grey one. I outline the words in black with my Pentel pocket brush pen and lastly add the date. Thank you so much for joining me. You can find the written instructions for this art journal page on our blog at www.artjournaler.blogspot.com.